Okay, we are also going to make sure we know how to find the area of a parallelogram. And a parallelogram, remember, just has four sides. Opposites are parallel to each other. So first, I want you to find out how many um, squares are inside this polygon. So I can go through and I can count them. So one, so area is figuring out how many squares. So we want to go through and count those here. So here I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So there are 24 squares that fit inside the area of that rectangle. Can you remember how we figured that out mathematically though? There's a much easier way than drawing and counting all of the units. So when we find the area of this parallelogram, we take the length, how many units the length is, and we separate it into that many sections. So this has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight units across, and we separate it into how many units the width is, which is three, and length times width, and we don't want to write L, X, W. That is going to look like L, X, W. And X is not a variable. So instead, we just write it L, W. When those variables are together, that means to multiply. So length times width, 8 times 3, equals the area of 24. But we would not just want to write 24. That's correct, but not quite the right answer. Since we are finding the squares inside of the polygons, the area has to be squared. We found two dimensions, length times width. So we square our answer. So if we don't know what it was, we can just write units squared. So this tells me when I see something that is units squared, that that was finding the area of something. So make sure we get that labeled correctly. So let's go ahead and try each of these problems here. So first we're going to do nine times four, so length times width. Nine times four is 36, and then it's centimeters, and we did area, so 36 centimeters squared. Let's come down here. Length is eight, width is five, eight times five is 40, and it's meters squared. So in here, there would be eight units across, five this way, makes 40 squares inside of that. So let's come up here, and I notice that these little marks mean that they are all congruent or the same. So this is a square. So we know this side is eight and a half, squares are the same. So this side is also the length is 8.5. So go ahead and do 8.5 times 8.5. So 8.5 times 8.5 is 72.25 inches squared. And now come and try length times width on this rectangle down here. So 7.6 times 3.2. And then we can see two decimal places, so don't forget to move your decimal. So 24.32 feet squared. And then our last one here, let's try 1.2 times 14.7. So go ahead and try that one. Move your decimal two places when you're done. That one is 17.64 yards squared. Okay, go ahead and complete your module 12. Are you ready?